These colorized photos capture way more than expected, bringing out the true life of these moments in time. Even though not all of the stories are fit for consumption, they are definitely a must-see. It's hard to find someone who doesn't have a crush on Bridget Bardot, a cinema idol for multiple generations, she deeply wanted anonymity. On October 29, 1929, the New York Stock Exchange faced a catastrophic collapse, leading to the infamous Black Tuesday and ultimately causing the Great Depression. There's something intriguing about this photo of the tallest, smallest, and biggest people on the planet. These men clearly made the best of the curveballs life has thrown them. The Mona Lisa, along with other valuable artwork, was carefully moved to the Loya Valley to keep it safe from potential Nazi theft during World War II. This photo of Arsenal goalkeeper Jack Kelsey searching through the fog for the ball is often mistaken for a viral story from 1937, where a game had to be called due to fog but the goalkeeper didn't realize and stayed on the pitch. Imagine wading out into the tide-driven waters of the ocean with a literal fire hanging over your head as the only thing to use while fishing with a spear. Albert Einstein and Charlie Chaplin became close friends and attended the premiere of City Lights together in 1931, with Einstein expressing envy of Chaplin's fame. During World War I, Colonel Thomas Edward Lawrence worked as a British demolition artist in the Middle East, blowing up 79 bridges along the railway belonging to the Ottoman Empire. Henry Behrens, the smallest man in the world at 30 inches, toured with Burton Lester's troupe of little people and was a fascination in the late 1940s and 50s. This photo was originally hand-colored by the photographer, Felice Beato, who preferred full-length portraits in the studio to focus on the traditional costumes and traditions of the culture that fascinated him. The traditional armored costume shown here was worn by the samurai, a soldier of a noble class who carried out the wishes of Japan's rulers from the 12th century until the 1800s. <music> Sally Field's career took off when she landed the role of Gidget at the age of 18, impressing the casting director with her down-to-earth honesty. During his 40 years as a photographer, Ernst Haas blurred the line between photojournalist and artist, particularly when capturing the confusion and desperation of post-World War II Europe in his photo essay, Homecoming. After their engagement, John F. Kennedy and Jacqueline Bouvier had a photo shoot at the Kennedy family home in Hyannisport which was featured in an entire issue of Life magazine. Jackie later expressed her love for John, but also the realization that he would become a legend instead of just a man. It's strange to think, but Civil War veterans were still alive well into the 20th century. The last surviving veteran passed away in 1956, and there were likely a few more around at the same time. These young men were conscripted into battle, 
and some likely had entire adult lives to lead after the war. Imagine the kinds of stories they must have had. Winston Churchill's life was shaped by his dedication to Great Britain and its army, serving as a member of the 4th Queen's Hussars Cavalry during a time when England was unchallenged as a military force. Einstein saw himself as an artist using science as his medium, and believed that imagination was more important than knowledge. At the turn of the century, explorers were racing to reach the South Pole, and in 1911 British explorer Robert Falcon Scott set out on the Terra Nova expedition. Charlie Chaplin was nothing like the bowler hat-wearing, down-on-his-luck man that he portrayed on screen. He started his life as a boy in poverty, the son of a failing actress, but he quickly took to the stage and made his way to America from London. While performing in the New York vaudeville world the concept of the tramp came to him via memories of his father. He explained, it was just released whole from somewhere deep within my father, it was really my father's alter ego, the little boy who never grew up, ragged, cold, hungry, but still thumbing his nose at the world. During World War I, the Seaforth Highlanders of Scotland were one of the small countries who stepped up to take on the Central Powers, forming in 1881 and quickly moving to France in 1914. Salvador Dali's early trips to New York City inspired him throughout the rest of his life, and his experiences on board the Champlain helped shape his art form. Men were taken from the armor force to fight in World War II, so women took on jobs in manufacturing, utilities, and transportation, increasing the amount of women in the workplace from 27% to 37%. In 1963, a border pass agreement allowed people from West Berlin to visit the eastern side of the city, creating some relief for those who were still in shock after the wall went up. Mata Hari's career as a spy was short-lived, even if it did become thing of legend. She pawned herself off to various military leaders, which earned her a place in front of a firing squad on October 15, 1917. She refused a blindfold and blew a kiss to the men taking her life. After World War II, Europe was left in ruins, including the devastating destruction in Poland. Survivors tried to return to normal life, with photographers creating backdrops to make it appear as if the war had never happened. After four years of Nazi occupation, Paris was finally liberated on August 25, 1944, when the French 2nd Armored Division and the U.S. 4th Infantry Division rolled into town to take back the City of Lights. Hitler ordered General Dietrich von Koltitz, commander of the German garrison in Paris, to destroy the Eiffel Tower and burn the city to the ground rather than allow it to be liberated. Koltitz simply surrendered to the forces, and two days later there was a liberation march through the Champs d'Elysees. Entering the Battle of Normandy, a brutal conflict that lasted from June 1944 to August 1944 over the control of Western Europe, must have been a harrowing experience for these soldiers.
The rodeo happens daily at the Crow Fair, featuring everything from youth events to professional horse and bull riders. Many Americans were forced to leave their homes and farms during the Dust Bowl, and when they arrived in California they were met with hostility from other residents who were also struggling during the Great Depression. When Germany took over much of Europe at the onset of World War II, it was like a shock akin to being thrown into a cold bath. No one expected the Nazis to move as quickly as they did and with such brutality. JFK and Jacqueline Bouvier had a storybook wedding, stealing away to Rhode Island for their nuptials on September 12, 1953. Their union was as close as the United States has ever gotten to a royal wedding, with hundreds of onlookers waiting to see the newlyweds outside of St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. Oscar Wilde spent a year traveling across the United States, giving 150 lectures and speaking to 200,000 people. He even spent a night in a silver mine in Colorado and dined with the men there. Marie of Romania was married to Crown Prince Ferdinand in 1892 and played a role in Ferdinand's alliance with England against Germany. The couple went on a diplomatic tour of Western Europe in 1924 and were openly welcomed by King George V. Martin Luther King Jr. emphasized the use of nonviolence and love in the fight against segregation, urging people to love their enemies and take action to create an integrated society. This photo captures a moment between the two brothers as John was telling Robert about his pick for vice president. Princess Elizabeth was determined to contribute to the war effort during World War II, so she trained as a mechanic, truck driver, and ambulance driver in the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service. Rosa Parks was working as a seamstress in a department store in downtown Montgomery, Alabama, when she boarded a bus on December 1, 1955. As the bus became crowded with white passengers, she was told to move to the back but she stayed put and was arrested for the crime of sitting calmly in a seat while black. When the Royal Mail ship Titanic sank, twin boys Michelle and Edmund Navradale were the only children who lost both their parents, but they survived by getting on the collapsible D lifeboat and were taken care of by a French-speaking Titanic survivor until they were reunited with their mother in France. This photo shows Leo Tolstoy surrounded by his family, taken two years before his death. Taken only one year before his forced abdication, Nicholas II of Russia was away from the front during World War I, causing political unrest among his country people. His reliance on Rasputin led to the priest's assassination and eventually his own execution. When Churchill visited the United States in 1929, he and Chaplin hung out a few times, first at a party organized by William Randolph Hearst and later at the Biltmore Hotel for dinner. In just five years, 
Grace Kelly went from an unknown actress to one of the most sought-after stars in the world, and then she became a literal princess.